it's now up for us to get into this business of showbiz daily and when it comes to showbiz daily you know we go straight into activities happening in a, into entertainment industry and of course we go by what you want to hear we are talking about the trending information and more my name is sammy flex and i want to believe you are seated are you ready for the action do you have some popcorn maybe do you have some coke around you and do you have your people your boys boys your girls girls about to discuss the issues if you are ready then we are are also ready good evening to you wherever you are in the world uh, here in Ghana it is 8 p.m. I don't know where you are but then I want to believe you are doing very very fine let me say thanks to digital Rasta his other name is currency and again to Richie flex as well as Leo Lapiji they are the guys behind the production of this content called showbiz daily now showbiz daily comes your way every weekday from 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. Now, this is what I expect from you anytime you join us. As you enjoy the content, I also want you to share. You just have to start some watch party so you and your friends, both far and near, can also enjoy whatever we're going to discuss here like that. I'm going to invite my special lady so we start with the first segment. The first segment is always about our celebrities and what they are putting out on social media. That is why she calls the segment celebritypost.com. Celebritypost.com. But then before we do that, have you gotten your hand sanitizers already? If you've not gotten it, in this era, we all need some hand sanitizers in our bags, especially to the beautiful ladies. This is very, very cute. This is very, very cute. You just need to get this in your handbag so that anytime you enter some washroom, some public place, you just come back, you pour a little bit in your palms and you are good to go. This is very, very good for you. Sweet scented and of course it kills 99.9% .9 of germs on your hand. So what are you waiting for? Get the Everclean hand sanitizers. That is what I am using. If you want more, you just call the number on your screen. That is 024 Four seven three two zero two four three five one four seven three two, and with that I can deliver to you wherever you will be in Accra. If you are outside Accra, I will still get to know how I can deliver to you. But if you are outside Ghana, mm -hmm, then there is going to be a problem. <laughs> Tilly, okay, Anipa, how are you, madam? Fine, thank you. Mm, have you got any your ever clean hand sanitizer? Yes, I have one. I uh -huh. have one. It's in my, it's in my bag. It's very small and you can carry it yeah around. It's yeah portable is the word I'm i thinking. know very yeah. portable yes. you know ladies keep so many things in their bags yeah 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 and i like the fact that it's not so big even okay. though we have huge sizes for maybe your store you can mm. put one mm. in mm. but this one is mostly for the ladies you can just slide it and it goes smoothly it doesn't make any big pop on your back or on your face <laughs> you can carry it and move around so i like it uh, <laughs> i know right how was your weekend it was good. It was good. Now the rain. No, my house is flooded. This this evening uh, I had to cross the river to come. Oh, you live around such areas, eh? Uh, but we are about to go into May, June, July. So are you ready? Oh no no no! I've written to that mother that she said we can move. <laughs> <laughs> you want a canoe? Yeah, she said we can move. For okay. The, for the May, June. Okay. June, May, May, the June, disaster. Yeah. yeah. No, but you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, um, I just want to pray that this year there wouldn't be any uh, fatal floods here in Accra. We don't want anything like that. We, we just so. want everything to be calm, cool, and collected. Anyways, Tilly is ready. She is fit and doing very fine. Mm -hmm. Now, remember that you can always join us. If you have any message to share with us, you can put it under the video. Sammy Flex, I'll surely read it up to you. And again, if you also have any comment on WhatsApp that you want to share with us, the number is there. And at the end of the show, I will be telling you uh, what time you can also call in to make a contribution. Now, ahead of the program, we are going to review one of the freshest videos from Stone Boy with Kerry Hilson. Very, very soon, we're going to do that. And again, my panel members will also be joining me. And of course, the um, Afro beat bad boy that is kelvin boy who also be joining me here in the studio for a wonderful discussion uh, he has a new song out it is called momo you'll we'll be talking about that and more stay tuned now it is time for celebritypost.com and tilly akuyalipa is the host for this segment tilly what is new yes so last friday mm -hmm. when we got home we we're all about to sleep and then social media started catching fire <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but social media doesn't sleep. No, it, it doesn't. Especially twenty four seven. Yes, because of the time difference between ourselves and other countries. Mm, so the mm. time you are coming to sleep, somebody is waking up. It's very up active and causing problems. <laughs> <laughs> Once you are sleeping, someone is creating wahala. Wahala. So you wake up and you see that all over. All the place. Mm. I say, yeah. So once somebody to sleep, you come to cause trouble. I know. So right. it's like that. It mm. doesn't sleep at all. Okay. Yes. So we we were there and then we saw this post from Goku Smoke. Mm-hmm. Not Goku Smoke and his. He's a bad boy. Yeah. Mm. And he posted. I know the feeling highest. He was talking to somebody. Okay. But I'm happy you are. You, You'll be one focused person. You do you do what you want. You won't do it. I think it's in pigeon. Let me read it. Yeah, this. read it in pigeon. Yeah. Else you confuse you confuse yourself. I know the feeling highest, but I'm happy you'll be one focused person. You you do, do what you want mm-hmm. do for others regardless. Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. you know be so like strong man is so self, you know go tweet him. Mm-hmm. You follow GH people. People are somebody they die self. You know, you go let them make, make you die. die. Mm. We the young ones, they appreciate you. Mm. Yes. Mm. So mm. soon as he said that, we saw strong one comment coming in, quoting the tweet with the comment. Okay. Fake people always trying to prove their loyalty outside. Okay. Once you heard might even be the opposite of what happened. Mm-hmm. Let this be the last time you drag my name in your useless argument. And then we smoke went to retweet the tweets, uh-huh. and then also wrote strong man. See, I may no harm in my tweet, but go take the angry emoji from there. It the bore me. Who who brand cry? Who brand? Who brand the cry every time? Who brand the cry every time? I don't get your time, but I feel help promote your a full album though. Your mind be. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> smoke. His history in our music business is very rich. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? It's very rich. Okay. It is very rich because Kwaku <laughs> Smoke, as a young guy, entered into our game beefing a big giant like Shatawali. Mm-hmm. As it stands now, you cannot say he's lost. That's true. Because Shatawali has not really paid attention to him. Mm-hmm. So he's giving him a room Some and he's operating. Yeah. In fact, he's feeling so cool in that room. Yeah. So many of the young guys know that this guy is a fighter. And really, he is a fighter. Mm-hmm. I don't know what is behind him, but then he has something solid behind him. That is why he goes forward without fears. But people also say that strong man is... An Ashanti Kingdom child who has won more wars than the Ashanti Kingdom itself. <laughs> and if he should smoke, we could smoke for them. The SM fans will make sure he wins best rap artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what the SM fans are saying. Yes. That strong man should come for Kweku smoke, smoke. Yes, and, then and smoke him. The SM fans will ensure that he wins best rap artist year. Oh, whoa. Um, I don't know if I don't know if strong man would have time for Kweku Smoke as a matter of fact. Um, I don't know because he has also released a song today. Yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah, yeah. he is promoting a song. Unless maybe something really provokes him to the core. Uh-huh. Unless something really provokes him to the core before he would spend some time on Kweku Smoke. Other than that, I wonder. I wonder. I, I, I because strong man I know he is always battle ready. Yeah, yeah, I know. No, Strongman has always been battle ready. The first line, fake, it's like, you can't come and touch him and go. He will obviously have to retaliate on the spot. No, Strongman, I believe, is always battle ready. Yes. No, he doesn't hide. If he's coming in for you, he'll come in for you. Uh-huh. But like I'm saying, because maybe he's released a new song with um, Dope Nation, yes. he but might I not have the time for him now. Now, maybe later. Later. If everything settles and he thinks, okay, I have some free time on me. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Strongman at the moment is enjoying fatherhood. Always yeah. talking about baby Simona and all that. So, but I think Strongman, on one hand, it seemed he overreacted. He didn't with, get the, the tweet of the tweets. Okay. He overreacted. But the same tweet, too, if you read it from another perspective, to his reaction is on point. I mean, his reaction tallies the What the guy wrote. Okay. Yeah, so it could be that... Smoke meant that if 
Sir Kodia had followed what people were saying mm -hmm. about Strongman. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have helped Strongman or tweeted Strongman song. Mm -hmm. After so their the breakup. Yes, after mm -hmm. their breakup. Okay. However, that will not have okay. needed this mm -hmm. kind of reaction Response. from Strongman. Mm -hmm. But if he means that looking at what Strongman did mm -hmm. and still Sir Kodia is supporting him. Then it means that strong power has to come and defend his territory because we're not all playing over in the Agosa. Yes, and I, I think it, it looked as if I said strong by a mini quick but the way he came on a normal day it wouldn't be this hard <sighs> or he just doesn't want to be tagged with that uh, ingratitude or no, no, that, that, that one he doesn't want to hear because to hear. the strong man and the sack of saga, as a matter of fact, it is more or less like something strong man does not want to discuss. Because I've realized personally, mm -hmm. I've realized that anytime strong man discusses that issue, he gets emotional oh, okay. because there are still so many things that he did not say. That's true, yes, so many things that he did not talk about, mm -hmm. and therefore he doesn't want to. Because he knows if he should go all out, it will mean disrespecting Sarkodie. Mm -hmm. It will mean putting out some secrets that he thinks they are not necessary for them to go out. It should be between him and Sarkodie as in the management of success music. That's why he doesn't want to discuss. That's why he said if you knew mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the realities, I'm not sure you would come back to say this. That is why in his response mm -hmm. to Kweku Smoke, mm -hmm. he said if you knew. Uh -huh. I don't know if we can read exactly what he he tweeted because he he meant something like that. What you heard might even be the opposite of what happened. Uh -huh. What you heard might even be the opposite of what happened. That's true. So what it means that you don't even know the facts, uh -huh. so you don't have to come in to judge yeah. exactly what strongman meant. Yes, but um, about the fake people part, do you think there are some artists who actually? insults particular artists behind their back but when they come on social media they kind of ask a, we worship you you are god this kind of thing because it looks like um, one person that i've seen that of late i say sorry to say his kissing somebody yes ass uh -huh. has been he's not even an artist palago <laughs> palago has really palago Mufasa. yes and then some artists you can see that they are really kissing his this thing mm -hmm. and it doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right for it you. Seem right um, now, now Sarkozy is more or less like an opinion leader uh, within the rap fraternity. Mm -hmm. So if you are a rap guy and you want some validation from Sarkozy, you need to be part of him. That is why when he started the Bring Back a Zone, so you've realized that almost all the guys within that fraternity, they are all gravitating towards him. Because if you don't go there to get that blessing from him, you are going to suffer because when Sarkodie blesses you and the Sark natives also endorse you, it is more or less like an upliftment for you. Within just some short time, poof, yeah, you fly. And I'm sure that is what all the guys are looking for. That's if Sarkodie puts you on his song or if he jumps on your song, in fact, it is a major blessing. That's why he said he is God. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, that's, why he he said, he, uh -huh, that's why he said he is God. <laughs> You understand? That's why most of these guys, like you are saying, they will be seen as kissing asses. But then, that is okay. <laughs> well, all right. So enough with the men. I enough know, right? Now let me try to acknowledge some one or two um, comments before we move on to the next one. Pearl Amankwa, I see you. Ama Ochozi said, "I says I know strong man. I do not know this Kweku guy." And uh, Patricia Champion says, "Still, he looks nice." Ama Oche, he's damn good, madam. Okay, this is coming from Champion Adebu telling Ama Oche that uh, Kweku Smoke is damn good. Now, Patrick Marflex newspaper, bro, good evening to you. He says, "I'm enjoying the show." And uh, a certain you says, "I'm Kweku Smoke, dear." He full pass in career go die soon. He for day G. Raj upon princess. Brass, I mean, and borrow is behind Kweku Smoke. Hmm. Seriously, the Kweku Smoke guy, he get balls. Wow. That is what Patrick is also saying. Hey, shout outs to you, Mr. Kobiche. Kobiche visited us this afternoon. Big ups to you. And uh, Patrick Marflex, this report comes through. And again, again, he says, but truth be told, Nana Boro is behind Kweku Smoke. Well, let's see how it goes. <laughs> uh, being behind him and supporting him is also a different thing to fight. Supporting him to fight is a different thing. Yeah. Nana Boro could be there, but he might not come forward to support you like that. Yeah. Yes, Tilly, what is next? 
Yes, so last Friday mm -hmm. we spoke about Ekapim Polo and her wild allegations about Sister Fia, Fela Makafi, and Medical. And it seems this thing is getting out of hand. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's it's got this another level that mm -hmm. yeah, I can't imagine. I just said, I just said, and Sister Fia, Ekapim Polo, and Sister Fia, Sister Fia, mm -hmm. and Ekapim Sister Fia too has. Put out some tweets to kind of you know some tweets and some posts to scratch her back mm -hmm. and now frida rhymes has also replied to um, the wmt with kmt commot <laughs> <laughs> so, the so there was there was a wmt from sister fia yeah. and frida rhymes has given us what K -M -T, kmt which means commot <laughs> and the, the punch lies in that one too is another story mm -hmm. But um, all this thing, I don't know what Ekebi Polo's purpose is for what she is doing right now. Mm, mm. Because it seems she has been on this fellow McAfee and medical agenda from day one, even on their wedding day. Mm -hmm. The day they were having their marriage ceremony, she put out some posts to criticize even their dressing. Mm -hmm. And now she's opening this kind of case. It's making me feel like if medical doesn't stand well, mm -hmm. This lady might actually cause a problem for him. Their marriage. Their marriage, big time, because he, she's shaking all the foundation that some women don't want to go through in their at least first year of marriage. Mm. You can't marry mm. a man knowing that one mm. person, one friend you count on, thinking she was sleeping with your man. It's not. You won't feel comfortable. But but tell you, the question is: all these statements, allegations coming from uh, Kia Pimpolo, are they realities? I think it's 50 50. I can't be certain that what she's saying is true. But the mm. fact that they are allowing her to go ahead is making me think that they are afraid to put the bear. Okay. Okay. Because then, medical, at this point in time, I think if there's anybody who is supposed to shut a camping polo up, it should be medical. Because the lady. Why Why should medical shut a camping polo up? Because there's no way Fellow Macam can go and defend the fact that medical hasn't slept with <laughs> since they fear. If, it is true that they have done it. She is going to end up the third rule in this story. Mm. But ever since Akiapin Polo started these attacks, even on their wedding day, has Fela Makafui also put out any subliminals against Akiapin Polo yet? Not really. Mostly it's for the sister Debbie issue. But uh, for Akiapin Polo, for Akiapin they've Polo not Luka, given her any attention. Yes, which is making me wonder could what she's saying be true? Why has like nobody come up against her? Or they are planning some lawsuits? I remember they should find a way to shut it because right now it's I think it's getting out of hand. Mm. The kind of allegations she's putting out, putting out, mm. it's getting out of what, hand. What is the latest? Um, I know last week when we sat, I, I remember you told me that Akia uh, Pimpolo has alleged that Sister Fia is secretly dating medical or they've dated before, something like that. Yes. Now, what is latest? And I don't know if there is something you're going to give to us. Yes, yes, yes. There's a video. Uh, I would love us to watch it. But for now, uh -huh. she's saying that uh, medical has been taking sneakers from uh -huh. Sister Fia in okay. exchange for sex. Medical has been taking what? Sneakers? Sister Fia has been giving medical sneakers, sponsoring medical sneakers for sex. And that's their wedding. The wedding, Fela Makafu and mm. Medical heart. Mm -hmm. It was Fela Makafu who paid for everything, and she intentionally got pregnant to force Medical to marry her. Mm. <laughs> a lot of things. I, mm. I hope that we can play that video so that we all listen to um, what she was saying. One, one thing I also know is that Medical is a well-to-do guy. Yes. So what is this? He. Yes. So according to Medical uh, Polo, uh -huh. sister Efia got pregnant for a man. Uh -huh. and the man refused to marry her so she had to abort the child but her friend actually got pregnant and forced the guy to marry her and decided to actually pay for the marriage um, the guy Tilly, I'm sure we can try to talk to Akia uh, Pimpolo yes. so let's watch this video mm -hmm. and uh, when we come back we will see if Akia uh, Pimpolo would be available to talk to us why uh, she is on this tangent and what really her problem is and again what she is looking for and uh, some like some of the traps you mentioned that if she's not careful, who knows? She might be taken on legally or something like that. Let's go for this statement or uh, another verbal yeah, attack. Another verbal. From a Kiapin Polo. Yes. Okay, watch this. We'll be right back. Listen, 
no one should try me today because I'm being nice. You get me? As, as you can see, I'm so beautiful. I'm my mother. I'm sexy. You get me? And I don't even have friends to fuck their boyfriends. I won't buy kambu for someone's husband. And you fuck me for free. You have been sponsoring the boy's kambu. All the food the boy has been wearing. You have been sponsoring for him. You hear me? Yes. They got married. You were sitting at the marriage. You. You said I, I've been naked on social media. And I'm still single. Mommy. Are you married? Your video that we saw that men were using their feet to stab your pussy juice. Men were using their feet, oh, no handle, no deck, their feet. Master, don't bring yourself, if not. Stupid girl, pick you. I'm a proud mother. You know how many people who are the church place, fetches place, church, fetches priest, or say, whatever they call it, taking concussions just to have a baby. But you, you got pregnant. The man said you should abort it before he will marry you. You aborted it. He didn't marry you. Is it by force for you to force a man to marry you with pregnancy? No. But children are gifts from God. I'm a proud woman. Oh. I'm a proud woman because now I have a beautiful, handsome, cute son. That is why your fellow friend that you are fucking the boyfriend got pregnant and captured and kidnapped the man with the pregnancy to marry her by force even she paid for the marriage yes she sponsored it Share, subscribe. That was a video from Equia Pimpolo who is still on an attack spree of Bo BIM left try center medical fella makafui die or she said or no one in him. Um some of these things are very hard to believe. Yes, and but then it comes across like someone is also feeding her with all this information. information. It's like a Kennedy Japan attack on you. Uh -huh. He will be getting information from all angles, firing from all angles and i'm sure that is what akapi polo is also yes, enjoying yes. someone is feeding her that information someone but who close to sister fear and, and medical yes is causing the problem because she can't talk with such certainty mm -hmm. without knowing having something to stand on mm -hmm. and i want to know if these people want to take her on legally can mm -hmm. they do it with the kind of thing she's spewing out mm -hmm. they actually are these things qualified to actually settle in court? If there is anything that they feel they have been defamed about, they can. They can. Uh -huh. If, for instance, all these things she is saying, if any of them uh, feels that they have been defamed, why not? They, I'm sure they can take her, her on. But then, um, are they defamatory enough? Are they defamatory enough? That is one thing we need to know, but, whether they are defamatory enough or not. But to what extent should it get? Because now these people have family. The fellow Makafu just got married. Mm -hmm. Their family and all that. And now social media is everywhere now. Mm -hmm. The family hearing about this. It seems her target is actually to cause commotion for them. She's actually aiming at breaking up the marriage. Mm -hmm. Whichever way she will, she will get to do it. She, she's mm. willing to go that far to do it. Mm. And it, it, it's serious. It's a worry. Okay. Um, we are fortunate. Uh, we have a Kiapin Polo on the line. Um, let's find out if she would help us with some of these answers we are looking for. A Kiapin, good evening. Evening, mm, I want to believe you are doing very fine today. Yes, mm, Thank you so much for responding to our call. Now, something is bothering us, and I'm sure so many people, that over the past weeks, it comes across like you have a special attack on uh, sister fear and maybe medical and his wife what is the problem what is the problem with uh, Kya Pimpolo and them <laughs> yeah, no, I've never had a problem with them 
one in the industry. I just address issue that flows on social media. When I see something going wrong on social media, I think on it and I address on it. I don't have issue with and I can never have issue with all the celebrities. No. I don't have issues with anyone. I just see issues on social media and I address it. That's why I don't even mention anyone when I'm talking about it. Because it's a whole issue. And I'm just talking about an issue that is going on social media. So I'm not having issue with anyone. Mm. But, but then, um, Rosemond, it is also clear that at the moment you are having a back to back give and take with Sister Ifia. Hmm. Hmm. That, that one I don't know. But me, I mean, <laughs> as I said, I attend and I attack issues on social media. So if I see something, I will attack to it. So I'm just attacking to what I see on social media, that's all. I'm not attacking human <coughs> mm. So are you telling us that whatever you are saying, we shouldn't assume it is Sister Fia you are, you are talking to? We shouldn't think it is Sister Fia you are talking no, to? No, not at all. I'm not mentioning anyone's name for people to make it damn new. I'm not, none of my videos I did, I mentioned anyone's name. Mm. You hear me? Mm. I'm just talking about issues and what bothers me. That is it. Mm. So but, I'm not mentioning I'm not I saw I saw a certain photo on your Instagram page. Uh where you wrote that um Kwasia five years now you have been exposing this stupid breast on social media. You are still single. Abuata, stop fucking the small boys and treat your smelly body. And that photo there really looks like a sister fear. <laughs> Hello, Rose. Rose Mont. Two posted on your photo saying that you've been showing your body for the past three years and you are still single. Did you see that one too? Yes, I saw that one too. Hello, Rose Mont. <laughs> All right, I'm sure we will try to uh, reconnect to Rosemont uh, once again to find out what really the problem is because she seems to be dodgy here, especially she does not want to admit that it is Sister Ifia she is talking about. Meanwhile, she is asking us whether we saw that particular post from Sister Ifia that also says that she has been naked on social media for so many years and no husband or boyfriend for. Okay, so we will surely get um rosemond again on this particular one mm. yes rosemond yeah aha uh -huh. so i saw that one too and i knew that one was also about you yeah yeah so um everybody's doing whatever they, they want on social media i'm doing what i want on my page i'm sure i don't hit on people's page i'm always on my page mm -hmm. i don't go on anyone's page to comment or Now, no, 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 Mm. No, they're not 
Okay, so this mm, so this is an issue you've seen and you want to talk about it so you trend. Now the danger is the photo, the, the photo and this caption. The Kwasia five years now you have been exposing this stupid breast. Oh, the photo, I mean, I put it on uh, Google. That photo, that I saw it is how I posted it. I don't know whoever heard it from it, but how I saw it, I sent you that photo to address my issue. What I wanted to say, I saw it on Google and I took it. That is how it was. How I take it. So if it comes out to be someone's photo and the person gets angry at it, maybe she goes the legal way. Oh, How? Because there's no air, there's no air. Without, are you the only person who is sick or who wears something? Maybe I'll just take my hand and say, 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 i will no one is taking anything. So me, if I'm doing something on my head and you think it's you, then you have a big issue because Rosmogoy has never had issue with anyone. People like Sakmichi, Moisha Boudon, and Co. They know me. Moisha went, went to US, they interviewed a little Rosmogoy, she's a good friend person, and she just took me on her mind. You know what I mean? So if you take anything I do on my face for yourself, you will just get high blood pressure. How do you mean? Mm. All right. Okay, Aprim, thanks so much for talking to us. And please. Thank you so much, big bro. All right. Take care of yourself any day. Um, Tilly, Akia, Nipa, bye bye. Akia, Pimpo, no. From me, sexy polo. Akia, Pimp is trading on some serious grounds. I don't know if we should um sit her down and give her some legal advice on this. Yeah, I think um kind of sad listening to the reason she's doing what she's doing mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. kind of sad because when you look at it carefully these are people's lives you are dealing with mm -hmm. people have built brands that they actually earn from because of the image they've built mm -hmm. and then because of the clout you want and the numbers you want you have managed to speak or say things just by detaching yourself or not to mention their names you think people will just take it like this the, the photo the photo one day yes uh, so, it, is, it is risky uh -huh. too risky so just because you didn't mention their name doesn't mean that i mean we are all daft enough not to know what you are talking about okay and if the sole purpose for doing this is for clouds then it's not worth it because she's really putting people's real life's emotion into jeopardy and it's, it's not it's not worth it at all and i think she's a coward Sorry to say, because why, why do you think she's a coward? Because she's she's doing something. You are asking her. I don't know if she's doing damage control. Or she's doing PR things. You are bold enough. The way she's bold, I was expecting her to go all out, go about it. But it seems she's afraid and mm -hmm. she's denying something that we all see that this is blood. You're saying it's pink. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the way she has the balls, uh, the, the balls. Or the say things and do this if somebody should take it to court she will really suffer because she doesn't look like she has the nerves to actually start for what she's saying and if those people who give you secret information one thing about them is if the person is not bold enough to put it out themselves mm -hmm. do you think this person will follow you to court if you get a problem mm, they are just using you yes they are just using you and she should smarten up because you found a way to build your brand people you didn't get trouble 
you now said you stop all these things and what what you are a change person and now look at what you are doing somebody just married and you are doing all you can to break up the marriage Charlie what God has put together let no man put us in now because we yes, have because I mean take your energy at first it was none of my business but to know that you are doing this purposely for the clouds it's not it's not a nice thing to do all right thank you so much but Tilly. all the showbiz can you think of well, it well well showbiz. someone is even saying um tilly is talking like us of mommy <laughs> Yeah, it's showbiz, so everything is allowed. Yeah. I know, right? I know, right? Anyways, Amachi, who she says, you see why? You see, this is why I like Tilly. She calls it as it is. L O L. All right. Thank you so much, Tilly. I'm sure we can only end it here. Oh, yes. Our time is up. Our time is up. Um, Kelvin Boy just arrived, and um, my panel members, Arnold, Mesa, Levanya, Kwame, Dazi, they are also at the other side. So maybe you can give some shouts to some people. Let's wrap up. Yes. Yes, I just want to say um, thank you to my boss, Odate okay. GH. Hey, yeah. shout out to Odate GH. Yeah, he's always watching, giving me tips. I know, right? How to improve. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, but I just want to say that mm -hmm. the women, if this is what the tangent or the lane we want to do, mm -hmm. let's go all out. Okay. Know that every part we take, it comes with mm -hmm. ups and downs. We should be ready and embrace it. Okay. If it's, we are doing this for attention, let's take the attention that comes with it and take the backlash that also comes with it. Mm -hmm. Let's not do anything to spoil each other's image because we are in this thing together. That's all I have to say. All right. Thank you so much, Tilly Akia Nipa, for that one. And um, Rafael Martin, Stickbeat says, I want to marry Tilly. Someone says uh, he's actually looking for love. So, Tilly, avail yourself and let's see what we can do. This is still Showbiz Daily here on Sami Flex TV. And I just finished up with um, Tilly Akia Nipa with the first segment on the show called CelebrityPost.com. Uh, she scans the internet, finds out who is posting what. We come here to discuss it. And of course, you've heard something from a queer pimp polo sexy polo when i come back i'll introduce my panel members and um, our first segment with them will be the music video review where stone boy our boy is on the judgment board today after that we'll be talking to the afrobeat bad boy kelvin boy already seated in the studio for us to have some chit chat a quick break and we'll be right back stay on and remember to share the video to your friends let's do this for ghana <laughs> 